and keep that blood from a side down. You right there, ladies and gents, how is it going? I'm out on my little AS and oh yes, oh yes indeed, AS, oh yes. Just heading back home from Brighton Moto, just popped down there to get an air filter, not an air filter, an oil filter for my Modigotti V7 and a new crash washer. Doing an oil change on that when I get home and uh, also changing the brake fluid and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little day actually, although it's a bit overcast. In conjunction with the uh, heat grips and also my new five heated gloves, I've got lovely toasty wall hands, um, both Grips and gloves, so I think, are on the middle setting. In fact, the grips might even be on the coldest setting, not sure. Um, but yeah, not cold, not cold at all. Up on Devil's Dyke at the moment. And uh, yeah, roads are dry, they're not warm. Um, but the roads are dry, and that's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Uh, yeah, it's just nice getting out on the bike, you know? Always nice getting out on the bike. And this one is particularly special, because wow, noise. <laughs> It is so pretty up here. Um, I know the camera doesn't really pick all the details of stuff out, uh, but yeah, it is very lovely. It is very lovely indeed. I don't think we're going to get a hugely great view today as we come over the top here, um, but yeah, it's all right. It's not. There's no fog, but it's not great, beautiful sun shining down across all of that. So it doesn't look as impressive. It doesn't look as impressive, but still, it's nice. It's nice. The road's a bit greasy along here and because it's all in the shelter along here too it might be a little bit slippery uh, i've currently got my traction control switched off just because it's a bit more playful this bike is with it turned off um so mindful of that <laughs> uh, what did we do before traction control we didn't have all these like oh my word moments um, i'm driving without traction control i'm dangerous what a loon um no we didn't because we just got on with it and, and we didn't even think anything of it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny how we've been brainwashed. Don't get me wrong, I do think these safety features are a good thing. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, we, we have been very much brainwashed by them. I know there's probably quite a few of you who've never even ridden a bike with traction control or ABS. So, uh, yeah, good for you. <laughs> I actually really don't need the heat grips on today. I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to turn them off. It was super awesome to have a good little natter with them down at Brian Moto. They are a lovely, lovely people. Um, brilliant people to buy bikes from, that's for sure. And uh, we were discussing uh, extended warranty. Not for this, obviously I didn't get this one from them. Um, for my Prilla Touareg 660. And so I'm, I think I'm probably going to get it. Uh, it's just a case of whether I go for the one year or two year extension yeah i don't know whether to go for the one year or two year extension um i mean for me the bike is pretty much a long-term motorcycle um, i have no real plans to replace it with anything uh, there's nothing out there that kind of comes close to what that can do for me and is the same sort of ride height and all that so uh, yeah until someone reinvents the wheel and makes a motorbike that fits me and does everything better than that or be sticking with it and if I am going to stick with it then it makes sense to extend the warranty um, or at least it does if ever I have to claim on it <laughs> um, but the bike's been good as gold the bike's been good as gold for me and uh, I don't want to spend out and then not need it but then I also don't want to not spend out and find in a year and a half's time something goes wrong on the bike that could have been covered um, yeah it's a dilemma I mean and the trouble is is like people who've had issues with their bikes have then gone and got those issues sorted under warranty and then they're not going to have those issues because their bike's been sorted whereas because nothing's gone wrong with mine does that increase the likelihood of something actually going wrong because nothing has or does it decrease it I don't know I guess I've had this bike a little while now haven't I I really should do a review of it, let you know what I think of it. Um, but TLDR, I blooming love it. <laughs> I shall probably wait until uh, the weather does warm up a little bit and the sun kind of shows its face a little bit more regularly. Uh, it's just uh, always nicer making videos like that when the sun's shining. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how I get on for time and all that. 
Um, but yes, yes, yeah, like I say, TLD, I love it. <laughs> you know how sometimes when you, you jump on a bike and you go out for a spin and the traffic gods are well and truly on your side and you barely see a car or anything at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not today. That's not today. <laughs> One of the things I like about working shifts is that I get out during the week on the bike rather than at the weekends. Um, and normally, normally that means that the traffic is a little bit lesser, a little bit lesser. But today, no, 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 there's all the cars, all the lorries. <laughs> well, we're most definitely not complaining though, because it's so nice for it to be warm enough for me to be not worrying about having the heated grips on and stuff I mean I know I've got my heated gloves on and uh, without them I would be chilly I would be chilly um, for sure uh, but it's not so cold that it affects your riding if you know what I mean and all I'm doing with the heated grips uh, sorry heated gloves there is just taking the edge off the edge off the tips of my fingers and I think that's nice to be able to do that Talking of the AS, uh, someone posted up on uh, the Facebook group, the UK Facebook group the other day or yesterday, uh, um, asking a question about the, the top end on this and whether it's got one, whether it runs out of puff and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it most definitely doesn't. Uh, the bike will do 130 mile an hour. It's, it's, it's a quick motorcycle. It's not phenomenally fast, it's not super bike fast. But it's certainly quick enough and it very much does not run out of puff. It very much does not run out of puff. It will go all the way up to the red in, in every year. Um, and very illegal speeds. Very illegal speeds. Uh, but what it does do incredibly well is the mid-range stuff. The, the real road riding that we all actually do in real life. Rather than the, one, the ones that we talk about down the pub. <laughs> Did you know that the Motorgood CV100 has featured in a Marvel comic. I didn't either. Um, or maybe you did know, I don't know. Um, but I didn't, and uh, I now have one. I have a, a Marvel comic with uh, the Moto Guzzi V100 featured in it. Um, uh, see photo now. Ding! I'm very much imagining that that product placement was uh, um, something that Moto Guzzi had to pay for, or Piaggio Group had to pay for. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Kind of cool. I'll be having a read of that later. Um, yeah, see what that comic's all about. Uh, I've not read comics or graphic novels for years. I used to read them all the time when I was younger, back in my misspent youth. Oh, what a cracking day. What a cracking day. I've still got remnants of a cough, and uh, every now and again my head explodes with uh, coughing fits. Um, and I'm really, really fed up with it now. But I don't feel bad. I don't feel ill or anything like that. I just, uh, every now and again, I just have a mega coughing fit, which is really quite distracting on a motorcycle. So I, I very much hope that that blooming well disappears soon. I'm talking to poorly people, I don't know if he's still poorly at the time of this video going up, but I do hope you're on the Mend Economical Rides. I know you've been under the weather recently, mate. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel better soon, buddy. Feel better soon. Right, well I've no idea what sort of a video this one will turn out to be, a bit random that's for sure. Um, but anyway, if you haven't done so already, please do click that subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a big old thumbs up, and if you didn't, you can give it a little thumbs down, I don't mind. Um, but please drop in a comment, it'd be great hearing from you. Anyway, um, yes, are you ride safe? Uh, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. <laughs>